I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning time that God has given us to come in His presence. For our morning meditation, let's turn to Romans chapter 8 verse 14. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Since we have become a new creation, we can never walk the way we used to walk earlier. That is why God has prepared a new living way for us. As this new way is opened by God, only the ones who love the nature and principles of God can walk on this way. When we look at the children of Israel, they were delivered by God from the bondage of Egypt and were taken to the promised land. Their forefathers Abraham, Isaac and Jacob lived in that land for many years and they might have heard about this land from their fathers. But now God is taking them back to the promised land in a totally different new relationship with Him. Now they are God's chosen people, a holy nation of God. That means they need to reflect the divine nature before the Gentile nations. For that their walk must be different from the other nations. And so, the loving God appointed the pillar of fire and the pillar of cloud to lead them through their wilderness journey. We need to remember that they were redeemed by the blood of the animal, which is of less importance compared to the precious blood of Christ. Still, God wanted them to lead in each and every step as they were chosen to be a peculiar people above all the nations upon this earth. They were peculiar and the promised land was important in the eyes of the Lord because through them the Savior Christ has to come into this world for the salvation of mankind. The promised land needs to be prepared for a Bethlehem and Golgotha. And for the fulfillment of all these, God himself led them through the journey. Look at the ways of the Lord. The pillar of fire not only protected them from the enemy, but it led them through an appointed path so that they may lean more on the Lord. Many a times this path was totally difficult to understand according to human reasoning. We know about the Red Sea crossing, which was an impossible path for man. Sometimes God dealt with them with their desires, such as leading them to the bitter waters in Mara. They murmured for food and water, forgetting the providence and protection of God in the past times. They had opportunities to learn from their mistakes and lean on the Lord more as they journeyed through the wilderness. But we can see how the desires of flesh led them to their own destruction in the wilderness. God did not allow them to enter the promised land where the Savior is to be born. God wants a people who are ready to trust Him with their whole heart. We know that the same unbelief was the cause of the fall of Adam and Eve from the paradise. God hates unbelieving hearts. As we can see, it is written in the scriptures. God drove them out of the garden and closed the doors as they can never enter into the paradise again. If God was so strict about the promised land and the purpose of bringing the children of Israel to that land, then how much more seriously God looks into His eternal plan and purpose. The plan of the selection of Abraham and the plan of the promise was revealed by God through many prophets. But the plan of eternity is not revealed till now. No man can ever imagine what eternity is holding according to the plan and purpose of God. If we need to be a part of it, God wants us to be true to our calling. We need to walk in this living way led by the Spirit of God which is totally different from the ways of the world. No human wisdom can understand it. So God has given His Spirit to lead us each moment at a time. If we are the sons of God, we need to prove through our walk that our nature has changed according to our calling. Though we have the new creation, the inner man in us, still we all know our nature needs to change totally. Only walking in the new path, feeding on God's word can only change our nature. The more we walk in this path, the more we learn many things about God and about ourselves also. So let us surrender ourselves before the Spirit of God. 
trusting him with our full heart so that our journey be filled with peace and joy that comes out from total obedience to the will of God. May the Lord help us for that. Let's pray. Father, we praise you and thank you for this beautiful time that you have given us. To come in your presence and thank you for your word that you have given. Lord, the walk of the children of Israel is there before us. Their unbelief led them to perish in the wilderness. Lord, help us to trust you. Help us to believe you. You have been leading all of us in the past days. We don't have to worry about anything. Help our faith to increase in these days and help us to cling on to you and help us to reveal your nature through our lives. May your name be glorified. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. May the Lord lead each and every one of us and help our life to be a blessing and an inspiration for others. May God bless us. Our Lord is coming very soon. Maranatha.